Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to another show on Praise Talk. My name is Praise Asimota. And my name is Charles. And uh, we bring you compliments of the season. And I hope that you are. So we're well, um, well dressed for Christmas. Indeed. Very, look, look, look at yeah. that. Red. <laughs> what, what, what color do you call it? Um, it's a little bit of some, there's some pink there. And some a bit of pink there. Magenta. A bit of, um, and, um, magenta. A bit of um, tech. A bit white. of Christmas colors, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. And, you know, we just had to show you that video from last week because you remember we had Reverend Gabriel Eziashi here. That's right, we? yes. And um, we didn't show the food. That was Reverend Gabriel Eziashi at TBN mm. um, in, in Texas. And today, the 15th of December 2012, he's live in concert at the. Can you remember? No, but I know it's in Barking. Discovery Center. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in Barking IG11. I know I'm going to um, be there. So. It's, it's actually next to the Showcase Cinema, so you make sure we see you there tonight. Yes. Six o'clock, gates open. And do you know what? You know, it's a charity begins at home. We've, mm. I've spent the mm. whole year, mm. uh, well, most of the whole year, telling you about what's happening at other places. And it's my turn to tell you about what's going to be happening at World Evangelism Bible Church mm. on the 28th of December. We're having a night of praise, prayer, and feet washing. 
um, as instructed by our man of God, but it's going to be a fantastic um, night. It's an all night from um, 10 p.m. to early hours in the morning. And we have, um, you'll see the advert shortly, but we have um, people like Isabella, my Tori don't change. My Tori don't change. You've seen her on, yeah. you know, on yeah, Praise yeah. Talk. We have, oh, the, the other person that we have is actually going to be on set with us this afternoon. And you'll hear a little bit more from him. And we also have a sister, Sister Patience Bender. Um, you've also seen her on Praise Talk all the way. Well, she's based here, but she's South African and she'll be doing South African stuff for us. And we also have a brother called Brother Isaac Fripong. So we we've had a we Can you repeat that name? Frimpong. Have <laughs> I got it right? I'm in the middle no, of two Guinean people right, today. Lord have mercy. It's all good. <laughs> but um, you know, we, we have a good variety and um you know one one of the things that our pastor said is that don't mm. wait for the thirty first of December for you to begin to praise God. We ought to praise him every day on a daily basis. But, um, you know, come for that night and, you know, bring everything. And one of the things I appreciate about what's going to be happening as well is that it's not just the praise side. It's actually a balanced diet because there's going to be prayer yeah. Yeah. and also, you know, ministration, which would meet to them the needs of the people of God. And um, I don't know if the advert is ready, but if it is or when it is, um, you'll be seeing it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you. Now, Gushal, is there anything happening at your church? Well, my church, we, we, we normally have a watch night service. And, um, well, hopefully we're going to have my pastor here before the end of the year. Yes, look out for and, that uh, for next know, to week. talk about his ministry or our ministry mm -hmm. as well. You know, I have to talk about our ministry as well. Okay. Um, so, do, you yeah, preach, we do you preach at the church? Do I preach at the church? Sometimes. I'm not a preacher, but not a preacher. I, you know, I like to have conversations and share a few words. On the mic. If possible, on the mic. <laughs> okay. Um, behind the pulpit, in front of the pulpit. Um, you know, just share what the Lord lays on my heart. And okay. In fact, this year, the Lord has laid a few things on my heart about people having like New Year resolutions and stuff mm. like that. But anyway, I'm holding on to it. So, you know. But do you um, know what? This is one of the years that I actually didn't make. Um, any resolution. Did you manage to but complete your resolution? I, I tell you what, I, I, one of the things that I, I declared over my life this mm. year was that this was going to be one of the best years of my life. I know it's a thing sometimes when people make statements like that, um, you know, sometimes we say it lightly, but I, I was actually saying with, with conviction because I believed God that he was, he was going to do something special for me. You can feel it in your bones. I felt it in my bones and I was doing it publicly. And, you know, sometimes when you do things publicly, it's like some fear, you know, oh, tends to oh. creep in and say, are you sure? Is it going to happen? But I said, Lord, it doesn't matter how I feel, I'm going to declare it. And I must confess that amidst all the challenges that I also had throughout this year, this has been one of the best years of my life. There were things that were overdue that, um, one of the things that was overdue over 19 years. Mm. God did it for me this year. I was, um, a few more other things that he did. I probably shouldn't be, I won't, be, I won't say them. <laughs> right. But. Since As she's not sharing her testimony. I am sharing my testimony um, in the, with the fact that God has... You can't has, share everything. Well, you can't share everything right. on you television. Know, one, one of these things, like, you, know what, you know what we can do here? We'll have, we'll have a, a live show here. Okay. So, you know, when we, when we have people here, then we'll be able to sort of have a kind of a, you know, yeah. an intimate kind of um, show and then share the things that the Lord has done. We'll have people sharing... In, 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 in the audience as well. Indeed. So, you know, this year, I, I, I feel quite good about yeah. the coming year as well. Amen. So, um, it was, yeah, we're moving on to that. But one of the things that the Lord mm. shared with me about this year, or the year that we're entering into, right. is the fact that every beginning of every year we have resolutions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 365 days we go to the end of the year, and some of the resolutions are still hanging, and we just dump them yeah. and have new resolutions. Mm -hmm. So, what the Lord is, well, laid on my heart is the fact that what have you done with the resolutions from last year? Why have we lost focus? So it's to go back and analyze and find out the things that actually derailed you mm -hmm. and concentrate on that old resolution. Instead and of jumping into something new. Instead of jumping into right, some, something and new. And we keep jumping some projects from, undone. You know, mm. a lot of projects undone. So mm. this year, I think 
this year is going to be a year of completion. So whatever I can complete this year, I think next year is the year for Well, me. one of the things for me is actually to be able to finish my music project by the grace of God. It so will happen. It I'm will happen. trusting God that that would happen in Jesus' name. So I don't know what is it that you'll be trusting the Lord for. I need you to stay focused. Just know that he's able. There's nothing that he cannot do. The Bible says that he's able to do exceeding abundantly above that which you think or ask. Preach on. Um, but one, <laughs> he doesn't want me to preach. You can't talk about God not talk about his word you know but um, the other thing is that when you come together you know this is what we should be doing on a daily basis or weekly basis and you know I always encourage you to go to church but as we come together to praise God um, you know at every occasion that we invite you to um, there's something that the Bible promises it says that the earth will yield it's increase. Mm. Where do we sow? We sow on the earth. We sow, you know, we, we till the soil and we sow. And it's your praise that would cause rain to come down so the earth will yield increase for you. There is blessings in praise. There is, you know, there, there are open doors, there, there are breakthroughs, there are testimonies, there are you win wars. Um, one of the things I also share with people is that sometimes, um, I don't know for, for, I don't know how people tend to see my, my, my praise, mm. but within myself sometimes I, I become quite aggressive, you know, um, as I praise God, not because I'm an aggressive person, but because there's warfare in praise. A lot of times we just think that it's a good music that makes up praise, mm. you know, putting your hands together and dancing as much as you want, but it's a spiritual exercise. And the things that go on when every individual makes a decision to praise God. Why is it that it was through praise that God won battles on behalf of his people? You know, so you, we ought to know that don't take any praise program. I mean, tonight there's an African praise that um, Pastor Gabriel Iziachi is putting together in Barking. If you're in the area, maybe you don't have anywhere to go, you don't have anything to do, make it. Don't just go thinking, okay, I'm going to another program. Go to say, God, I'm going to praise you because this is a spiritual exercise that is going to bring me results. On the 28th, I want to invite you. The, the, the program I'm going to be talking about this afternoon is for the 23rd of August as well come and join these people and where even when you go to church tomorrow make a decision that you know sometimes it's so when you as a worship leader when you look into the congregation you almost want to go and shake some people you know it's like come on move and, you know what? and I, just let loose in the well, presence of god what, 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 what i experienced you know, you know when i used to lead worship as well is the fact that sometimes you look in the congregation and some people just have you ever seen somebody who made you forget your <laughs> lyrics? It's scary. You know, it, it's absolutely scary. And oh my God. <laughs> thank God. You know oh what? You, you, um, you, you, <laughs> you were talking about... Well, well, we'll ask uh, Papa Richie when we start talking to him if that's ever happened to him. But mm. that happened to me a few times. I had to bind and bind and... Yeah, there are times when like you that. feel probably but the atmosphere anyway, is heavy. Um, <laughs> Sometimes you look at people thinking, whatever you're doing, when you finish, we'll all sit down, it's okay. You know, and you can see there's other people that are really trying to get <laughs> into it. You know, they don't understand what you're doing, but they're trying to get. And yeah, those are the yeah, people that are yeah. really an encouragement to a worship leader when you know that this person doesn't, probably doesn't even understand what I'm doing or doesn't understand the song that I'm singing, but they're making but an know, effort. I think, I think we have to sort of. Um, look at it from a very pragmatic view because mm. sometimes you know we're talking about people not getting involved um, sometimes there are people in the house whose hearts are very very heavy it's you true. know um, people go through different things sometimes and sometimes you know as much as they're in the church they're in the house of God it's not very easy for them to actually get in the flow because of the pressure that's upon them and well, we need to is, appreciate is... that but that's why when you're in the house of God Give it all to God, you know, because the battle is not yours. Well, it's also, it's also, um, please let us know when the advert is ready so that we can keep going, we can, we can get that on. But um, it is because of the, the fact that, again, worship leaders do not take time out to understand the ministry that they're in. Mm. And this is for worship leaders that might be watching us. Maybe you're a choir member. You are not just there to sing and drive people through a marathon of songs and um, a musical session. You are there to lead people into the presence of God. 
which means you're there to uplift the hearts of people, encourage them, take them out of whatever situation that their minds may be in, and bring them to a place where their focus is now on God rather than the problems that they're in. If you, if you see that as your responsibility or you make that as a part of what you do during your worship time, you would experience something different. If you just take the mic, because I've seen it happen, people just take the mic, praise the Lord, hallelujah, somebody shout hallelujah, bang, music. But I think, I think I was talking about people leading praise and worship as well. Sometimes, you know, people get into the temptation of thinking, this is what I'm doing, you know, it's my skill, and, and, you know, I need to let my skill lead people into God's presence and stuff like that. And it doesn't work that way. I mean, it takes me back to what you were saying. You were talking about the fact that sometimes we sow. And I think as worship leaders as well, it's about, you know, what your ministration is about sowing. Um, one of my favorite hymns from when I was back in school, right? When you talked about sewing, it came to my mind, and I quickly, thanks for technology, the words <laughs> are here. It's a hymn, it's, it's an old hymn that talks about, um, the title is, We Plow the Fields and Scatter. Mm. And it says, we plow the fields and scatter the good seed on the land, mm. but it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. Amen. He sends the snow in winter, the warmth to swell, the grain, the breezes, and the sunshine, and soft, refreshing wind. Do you remember the, the refrain? All good things are yeah. All right, we're not going to do that now. All right, okay. So, oh, thank the Lord. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> a wonderful hymn. Wonderful. Yes. I love yes. hymns. For I love all that he's done. All right. Okay. Amen. So, well, please, um, if do you're what you have to leader, do, yes. and the Lord would, would bless what you Indeed. have to do. Indeed. But saying that as well, mm. Charles, you know, everything is balanced. Mm. So, here goes a worship leader as well that is there to, to lead worship and they spend half of the time talking. Do you understand? And you're thinking, okay, can we, okay. Can we just, you know. So it needs to be, you need to be able to understand the atmosphere, understand what's going on so that you can have a little bit of both and do what you're there to do, um, you know, primarily. And the Lord will bless you. But hey, Amen. all roads leading to um, Pastor Gabriel's program tonight yeah. at 8. Amen. Um, sorry, at Barking. Also, right. um, on the 28th of December at okay. 10 p.m., the, the, at World Evangelism Bible Church, sorry, I just got distracted there. At World Evangelism Bible Church, we're having a praise, prayer, and feet washing service from 10 p.m. to early t hours in the morning. And I am looking forward to seeing you. Um, and you know what, God would do something awesome in your life. Should we watch, um, watch a quick video? Yes, we're just yeah. going to go on a quick break. We have a few videos. And get ready you. because we're get bringing ready. you Papa Ricci and Set. What's, oh, okay. We want River Song receive rave reviews from the sold out UK and USA tours. And US smash hit TV show, Sunday Best, Add Me What to Judges lineup, which includes Donnie McCurkin, Kurt Franklin, and Kim Burrell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Indigo 2, what a fantastic night it's gonna be. You guys are gonna make some noise. You are going to dance, especially you, sir, as promised. It's gonna be a phenomenal night. There is a fantastic friend I'm about to bring out right now. Please let me introduce to you, Muiwa and the River Song. Good evening, O2. Come on, let's come on, stand up on your feet and praise God. Come on. Come on, O2. Come on, we're gonna lift up Jesus in the place. Your loving kindness is better than life. Your love. Forever, come on, with joy and gladness. 
hands and lift up the name of Jesus. No other name but the name of Jesus. I lift my hands up in your holy name. Paid for your ticket. If you're going to lift his name on high, do it with all your heart. 